guys, Jan for Rob and Jan Can Cruise here, and we're here with Vernon, otherwise known as Duckman. Mr. Duckman. So, Mr. Duckman, uh, we met you on Facebook as part of our group, and um, on the Facebook group for the Carnival Vista for this journey, and uh, thought we'd uh, have a few moments to talk with you. We were at your event the other day where you had quite a few people turn out. Yes, so. Sir. Tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got started as Mr. Duckman. Well, it, it all started with an 11-year-old girl about five years ago. Her mom asked her what she'd like to do. She told her that she would like to take some ducks on a cruise ship to hide them for people to find. Right. So when they went into Galveston, they brought like 50 of them. And she, they started hiding them like seven at a time every day. People was finding them. They was talking about it. She caught wind of it, and she was so happy about it. Yeah. Now, I went like two, two three years later. I found a duck and a little kid see me find it and he says to me, uh, Mr. Duckman, what you going to do with that duck? And I, I told him, if you want it, you can have it. When I gave it to him, man, he, he was so happy. He was like, can I get it quack, quack? Can I get it quack, quack? <laughs> and so actually I caught on to that and yep. a couple months before September of last year, I started gearing up for it, creating it for me. So on my first journey of September of last year, I had zero people on my page. And then all of a sudden, when I hit the cruise ship, it just blown out on me. And I mean, people are so nice to me. They asked me for my autograph on a duck and stuff like that. So I have, it's really grown. Nice. That's really nice. Good to hear that. And your event the other day, I guess, was the biggest one you've had. We've got a little bit of footage from that. Um, but it's the largest one you've had. You had about 60 or 70 people turn out at the Red Frog Pub to, um, you know, bring their ducks and, and be part of a raffle and that kind of thing. And, and your sister, Emmy, helps you a lot with that kind of thing, too. Yes, ma'am. Uh, my sister is Emmy Allen. She's, I'll call her my little sister, Ducky. <laughs> but yes, it was one of our biggest events that we have had and a lot of people showed up. I mean, we had a ton of ducks. Yeah. And we also also do a raffle, free raffle and tickets. And you don't cost nothing. And we gave away so much stuff. People were so happy about it. Yeah. Uh, we had a really fun time at the event. We brought some ducks and exchanged them as well. And we hear that you make sure that nobody, no child that wants a duck goes off the ship without a duck. Is that right? That, that is very true. I, I always tell everybody it, on the last day, that'd be a Friday at five o'clock. If you have not found a duck, I will make sure that that child or adult, you can be from, you can be from one year old to 110 years old. I want to make sure you get that duck. Right. That's nice. And you also do something special for the crew as well? Yes, ma'am. I also do a, uh, Everybody, uh, the staff members, the steward people, stuff like that, they work so hard on the ship. And a lot of people, they're on vacation. They don't pay attention to them or anything like that. And so we do like gift bags. We do 10 women and 10 guys. And, and, and the bags are pretty big. And it's everything they will need on the cruise ship. Right. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Um, anything else you want to tell us about yourself? Well, it, go back to the gift bag. When I give these bags, these people are so appreciated. I find out where they're from, how long they've been on the ship. And when I give it to them, they, they praise me, tell me, thank you, Mr. Duckman. We really do appreciate it because people, like I said, people is on vacation. They don't pay attention. I go, I make sure I go beyond to the people that does not see people on the cruise ship, the dishwashers, the people that's mopping the floors, the ones that working Wait. in the kitchen, get some. Yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> I like that phone. <laughs> yeah. okay. Well, the gift bag usually consists for essentials, which helps us while we yeah. are staying on board. We I don't mean, need to buy out. So yeah. It's very it, helpful it helps, for us. It helps us it helps. save money. Yeah. Save money to bring back home. Nice. Well, actually, today's payday. <laughs> I'm just going to look at my card and see it. And enjoy, by. and enjoy. Because so he helps us yeah. send all Especially of our money our back home. Especially our toiletries, like, yeah. you know, that's important thing for us. Yeah, almost everything is there except money. Yeah. <laughs> our, you know, our toothpaste, all, especially our yeah. toothpaste almost finished, so we need to buy outside now. Yeah, especially, especially if we cannot go outside, we don't have time. So. No chance to go outside. Well, and I would think too, a lot of those essentials on the islands you're going to are probably pretty expensive. Yes. Yeah. So you're gonna pay a lot more yeah. money than you would, yeah, if you you're know, at the, a home the, base. Yeah. The coffee that we buy in uh, in Galveston in the Filipino store, it costs twelve bucks. Wow. For thirty pieces, and here in Cozumel, 
They double the price. Double the price. Oh, yeah. It's twenty four dollars. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> Everything's a premium here, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> but uh, well, he helps us uh, yes. get by. Yeah. So where where are you from? I'm from the Philippines. And you? Philippines. Okay. So <laughs> they both gonna go home to the, the home country. And like I said, Carnival Cruise has some of the best members. I have ever seen in my life. They do. Uh, they and do. These, guys, so these, guys, these, guys, <laughs> these guys do really deserve gift bags from me. And if you're out there and you're on a cruise ship, please think about the people that are actually working on the ship while you're on vacation. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and I have so much fun because I believe in bringing smiles to people's faces. I believe in faith, trying to pull people back together again. So, yes, I, I really love it. It does not bother me because. I love to see people smile and be so happy. Oh, that's nice. Um, and that's and we can find you where? You can actually hashtag me, uh, hashtag Mr. Duckman, mm -hmm. or you can just go to my regular page, uh, Mr. Duckman. This is oh, my Facebook. this is my this is my yeah. symbol. You can it, it's my logo. It will always be with me. Right. Cool. And anything else you want to add? Well, I'm from uh, Dallas, Texas. Mm -hmm. I'm 62 years old. Uh, I feel like this is. It, this is meant for me. This is my my journey in my lifetime to do something very special for all people. Nice. It's meant to be. Yes, that's good. So it's a nice message today. And uh, <laughs> Mr. Duckman, then we can find you on Facebook. And we're so happy to to have met you and really thankful that you wanted to take some time to speak with us and, and talk about what you're doing out there. I think it's amazing. Thank you so much. And I appreciate it. I, I really would love people to come to our page, your page. Uh, and I, I'm telling you, I'm having a blast. We're here in Cosmel right now. Mm -hmm. I have been here so many times. So, I mean, I, I had plenty of time to visit with a lot of people. Yeah, nice. So. And then you, your, your little scene that you do? Can, can I get a quack quack? Can I get a quack quack? And I do, <laughs> I, do, I do tell everybody, I do bring five to 700 ducks with me. Wow. On every trip. So, I mean, it's not like I'm not going to have a duck. Right. And most people, they know who I am now, and they, they actually come up to me getting a duck and get a, a personalized autograph from me. That's so cool. And and I think you, you were saying, too, that you brought quite a bit of luggage this time? Yes, I, I normally carry about eight luggage with me at a time. Wow. So, I mean, the luggage <laughs> is for the Stuart people. Luggage for the... Um, I bring 80 pounds of candy in one suitcase, so I have... 80 pounds of candy? 80 pounds of candy. I have candy <laughs> on my door, 724. So if, if I'm on a cruise ship with y'all, all you got to do is find my door. I got candy. I load it up all the time. Wow. I'm not taking no candy back with me. I'll throw it out to the sharks. <laughs> <laughs> right out to the sharks. They have a sweet tooth, apparently. <laughs> well, I don't eat no candy at all. But right. I, I want people to enjoy when they're on, on vacation. Yeah, that's really sweet of you. Very sweet of you. <laughs> so thank you once again, Mr. Duckman, for taking the time. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you on another ship sailing out of Galveston or maybe out of a lot to Alaska. There you go. I, I will be going to Alaska <laughs> in August the 30th. I will be going to Alaska out of Seattle. Nice. So I mean, and then I come back to here uh, in December and get on the new Jubilee uh, oh, that'll cruise be ship. Nice. So. That'll be nice. I will be here. All right. Well, so if you get, if uh, if y'all out there and y'all see me, come see me. Come get my autograph. Come get a date from me, please. <laughs> thank you so much, Vernon. Okay, thank, thank you, ma'am. Okay, guys, it's Robin Jen from Robin Jen. Gang.